at the Stableview Tech 17 conference. I'm Angela Harmantis. I'm here with Gary Amara Cohn, CEO of Deep Pixel. Gary, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Um, Gary, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about uh, Deep Pixel, what it is that you do? So, Deep, Deep Pixel is an AI uh, software company, and we deliver our software product for large and small businesses to automate their call and contact centers. So what we do is our software will take repetitive questions that come into the contact centers uh, on a daily basis, and we use the power of AI to suggest answers or sometimes, in, in some cases, automatically answer those questions so that call center agents don't have to repeat, repetitively answer the same things over and over and over again. So what this does is it um, makes the, the call center agents more efficient, mm -hmm. so the cost is obviously less for the company, but also the call center agents can focus on more complex questions. Mm -hmm. So they feel a little bit more uh, job satisfaction rather than who wants to answer, you know, what's your office hours over and over and over again. Yeah. So yeah. this is where the technology can help. Mm -hmm. And what's particularly unique about the technology itself? I, I know that you built it from scratch. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, our technology is going after a newer version of AI. So AI has been around for many, many years and, and there's versions of this product that are available. Mm -hmm. But the early versions of the technology ha is fallible, and it tends to make more mistakes than, than you would like. So the newer version of the technology, which is based on thought vectors and, and, and deep learning, allows us to be more accurate and give, provide more answers. So for example, if you look at 100% of the questions that comes into a call center, we off the bat, we can basically automate about 33% of them. With a little bit of tuning and, and, and learning over time, it gets over 60%. So you can now see the value of this new technology. We believe that in the future, uh, fast forward a few years, five years, most of the questions coming into a contact center will be automatically answered by, by the technology. Mm -hmm. And where contact center employees will basically be watching the screen as conversations go on. And they'll only pop in when a conversation goes bad, right? When, a, when, when somebody is asking something that's never been asked before or somebody is getting stuck, right? So that's the, the future and we're working with large corporations to get them there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's on DeepPixel's agenda for the next six months or so? What can we look forward to? So we're, um, you know, we've been doing some projects and some, some internal pilots with large corporations. So over the next six months, we'll be announcing them. So you know, watch out for us on, in the news as, as you know, people announce these products. And also, we're starting to take these customers' projects and, and, and do something larger for them. So, uh, because AI is nascent, people wanted to start with smaller, uh, uh, you know, bite-sized pieces of project. But now, larger companies are coming to us and saying, hey, we want to take, uh, one customer uh, came to us and said, during their peak season, they hire about 10,000, you know, agents in their call center. And those kind of people are now going to go and use the technology. So that's what we are looking forward to over the next six months. And longer term, do you see any other applications for, for this type of technology? Yeah, so, you know, the technology, you know, is basically understanding words or understanding phrases. You can imagine everybody writes on Facebook, everybody tweets. Right now, you need a human to really understand. You can look for keywords and you can say, oh, this person said buy or, or, or balance or... But if you understand the whole phrase, so somebody says, I really like this product, or, or if I wish they had this feature, and if the computer can understand that and forward that request to the marketing team and say, well, it looks like 30% of your customers are looking for this feature, or 20% or of the customers are thinking about leaving your service because of you know, maybe your customer service or something, then it's much more valuable, right? That's one application. Another application is you know, large, um, uh, banks, law firms, they have tons of data. Some of them come in email, some of them come in contract. You can use this te technology to go through that and get the, the computer to understand it. Mm -hmm. So the application of this technology is massive. In fact, um, some of the people have sort of said that the internet will be transformed by this technology, right? So things like hate speech, you, you, can, you can really detect hate speech today based on keywords, but people say bad things without actually using those keywords. Mm -hmm. So this technology can even prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. Fake news, yeah. right? <laughs> Things of that nature. Absolutely, yeah. Gary, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to speak with us. Where can our viewers go to learn more about DeepPixel? Um, you can go to our website, uh, you know, www.deepixel.ai, and uh, you can contact us through there, and we can show you a demo of our product. Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. For Small Cap Power, I'm Angela Harmantis. <laughs> <laughs>